Hey boys and girls, my name is Vic. I'm at home. I know you're probably at home, maybe with the brothers and the sisters and your parents and your family, and you might be a little bit bored and cooped up. Well, I just want to let you know we're going to get through it. Everything's going to be okay. So I'm Vic Michelucci. I'm with Channel 4 News, News 4 Jacks. Maybe your parents watch the news at night or in the morning. I do both of those, and I just wanted to say I appreciate you all, and I respect you for staying home, and I know you can do it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to read a book. This is actually one of my favorite books when I was in school. It's called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. So read along with me, and we're going to have some fun. So it starts with If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. There's the mouse. There's the little kid that's going to give that mouse a cookie, right? He's going to ask for a glass of milk. And when you go into the kitchen and you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw, right? A lot of people use a straw for milk. When he's finished, what's he gonna ask for? Do you know this? He's gonna ask for a napkin. Then he's gonna wanna look into the mirror to make sure he does not have a milk mustache, right? And when he looks into that mirror, he might notice that his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll wanna borrow a broom to sweep it up and he'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Sounds like a good idea. I know that a lot of you kids probably have chores to do at home. Maybe we need this mouse. Maybe we should give a mouse a cookie. Well, he may even end up washing the floors as well. And when he's done, guess what? He'll probably want to take a nap, right? I'm sleepy. You're probably sleepy at home too. So you'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in He'll make himself comfortable and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you're going to read him a story from one of your books, just like this one. And he'll ask to see the pictures, just like this. Look at the pictures. There you go. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited that he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. So there he is. There's the paper. There's the crayons. Maybe a pencil in between. He'll draw a picture, right? And when that picture is finished, that's nice. That's a lot better than a picture I'd be able to draw. He'll want to sign his name with a pen. See, there he is asking for the pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. Oh no, this is getting complicated, isn't it? He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty, he wants a drink. So while you're tired, He's still going around. There he is. There's the mouse. He's a little parched. He'll ask for what? You got it. You know it. He'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he'll want to go and get a cookie to go with it. The mouse is happy. The boy... Not so much. This is one of my favorite stories as a kid. If you give a mouse a cookie. So I hope you guys are having fun at home. Hopefully you're learning. You're getting a little bit of fresh air, maybe in the yard or the driveway and being good to your siblings. If you have them, your parents, your family members, we're going to get through this. Everything's going to be okay. And one time I want you to say it at home. Yell Duval. There you go. Good stuff. I love it.